Dementia, also known as major neurocognitive disorder, is a progressive medical condition and is characterized um, by a decline in a person's uh, mental abilities. This decline in mental abilities affects areas such as memory, for example, language, and also uh, the ability to pay attention. Eventually, this leads uh, into more difficulty in the way they carry out a familiar day-to-day -day tasks. Um, which can be more complex ones such as handling money, operating a vehicle or preparing their food and may eventually affect more basic, uh, the ability to carry out more basic tasks such as showering, eating and, and dressing. Um, changes in mood and personality are also commonly seen as the condition progresses. Normal ageing is a natural process that we all go through as we age. So we may, at some point in our lives, notice uh, changes in our physical and mental abilities, and it will be noticeable. Um, so for example, in terms of our mental abilities, we may notice that we have a slower speed at which we process our thoughts. We're slower at learning new skills, for example, picking up a new language. However, in general, normal aging doesn't affect our ability to carry out familiar day-to-day -day tasks. However, in the process of dementia, um, this decline in their mental abilities will start to affect their capacity to carry out day-to-day -day familiar tasks over time as the condition progresses. Dementia is not a single disease. However, there are different disease processes that contribute to someone uh, developing dementia. But in general, there are certain factors that can contribute to someone developing dementia. These include uh, uh, factors such as older age. Uh, this is more so uh, given our rapidly aging population. Uh, a family history of someone who has developed dementia. So for example, if you have an uh, older family member who was previously diagnosed with dementia, this may uh, increase your risk of developing dementia in future as you age as well. Other factors such as physical inactivity, elevated cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, diabetes, depression and head injuries are also uh, factors that may increase your risk of developing dementia in future. There are various types of dementia and they are categorized according to the different disease processes that contribute to the development of the dementia. The first type of dementia, the most common type is Alzheimer's, uh, due to Alzheimer's disease. So what actually happens in Alzheimer's disease is an accumulation of abnormal proteins within the brain and this causes damage uh, to the brain cells and the condition progresses uh, gradually and progressively over time. The next most common type of dementia would be uh, vascular dementia, which results as which occurs as the result of strokes or cerebrovascular disease within the brain. Um, the disruption of the blood flow to the brain cells um, causes damage and death uh, to the brain cells. So certain factors uh, are associated with people developing vascular dementia, and these factors are such as smoking, elevated cholesterol levels, hypertension, and and diabetes are associated with the development of uh, vascular dementia. There are other types of dementia, such as Parkinson's disease dementia, frontotemporal dementia, Lewy body dementia, and less common ones such as dementia due to HIV infection and dementia due to a traumatic brain injury, among others. The signs that someone is developing dementia can vary from individual to individual. However, what is commonly reported is uh, memory problems. So what family members or the individual may, may find is that they may have difficulty um, recalling the date, certain events, they may um, be misplacing things or they start repeating themselves uh, many times and then they start to forget uh, people's faces and places that they've also uh, been to. What you may also notice as part of the dementia also is that their language may be affected whereby they have difficulty understanding, uh, difficulty uh, finding the right words uh, that they want to, to say and difficulty expressing themselves. As the condition progresses, um, these individuals who have dementia will have increased difficulty in carrying out day-to-day -day familiar tasks. 
So initially, more complex tasks such as preparing their own food, managing their own medications, finding their way around the neighbourhood, um, they may start to have difficulty doing all these. And as the condition progresses, they may have more difficulty in carrying out simpler tasks, more basic ones such as showering and dressing, changing themselves, toileting as well. Emotional or behavioural symptoms also occur as part of the dementia to varying degrees. Some of these symptoms may include aggression, sexual disinhibition, reduced emotional expression, hallucinations and paranoia. There have been huge advances um, in the areas of research into the different disease processes that contribute to the development of dementia. Um, however, what we have now are treatments available that improve function and also slow down the decline in, them, in a person's mental abilities if they de develop dementia. There are also medications that can target specific emotional and behavioural symptoms in the dementia as well. The older you are, the higher risk of you developing dementia. However, developing dementia is not an inevitable part of aging. If we live a healthy lifestyle, we can reduce the chances of us developing dementia. For example, uh, regular exercise, uh, taking our medications regularly, um, monitoring our blood pressure levels, ensuring they're within healthy ranges, our blood sugar levels and our cholesterol levels, as long as they're in the healthy range, this will also reduce our chances of uh, getting dementia. As we age, it is important to remain socially connected and to keep our minds cognitively stimulated. So how I would advise people is to continue to participate in activities uh, involving others, social groups such as mahjong groups or karaoke groups, and even go travelling together with your friends or engage in physical activity in, in groups as well. Um, this will help them stay socially connected and remain cognitively stimulated as well. So, although these individuals have been diagnosed with dementia and they have a decline in their mental abilities, however, they, are, they still should be treated as every other person who has their own feelings and they have their own opinions about things. Um, they, they have a desire to be respected, they have their own uh, self-worth as well. So it's important um, that we treat them as people who have the ability to make decisions for themselves and we should also take their feelings and their considerations and their opinions into account. So family members uh, should include these um, individuals with dementia in all activities uh, as much as possible in a variety of activities to encourage them to uh, be creative. Family members should also assist them as much as possible to carry out everyday tasks uh, in as independently uh, as they can. And remember to include them in all sorts of activities so that they can remain socially connected and cognitively stimulated. Family members should also listen to their concerns with warmth and sincerity and validate their concerns and not be dismissive of them. Medical and social support is very important for patients suffering from dementia as well as their families and, and caregivers as well. In terms of the medical support, it is very important uh, that there is a doctor either in primary care or, a, or in specialist care who can advise uh, family members and the individual suffering with dementia about what to do as the condition progresses this doctor should be able to provide a holistic care and be able to coordinate um, the different services uh, required in caring uh, for this patient and supporting the family through this process. Social support is also very essential. For example, financial assistance is definitely essential when helping to defray some of the costs in caring for someone with dementia. In terms of other social services, for example, there are befriender services, uh, meals on wheels, or home health services to support these individuals' dementia to age well 
at home and for them to remain as independent as they can in the home setting. Daycare center services are also available for these individuals with dementia to engage in physical, social activity as well as cognitively stimulating activity. Caregiver support groups such as those in Dementia Singapore are also available for caregivers of people with suffering from dementia. So within these groups, they can exchange practical tips on how to help care for someone with dementia. They can also give uh, each other emotional support as well during this journey for them caring for someone with dementia.